Hey everyone, this is Stephanie from Guiding Force Consulting and today's tech tip is sharing with you how to create a video that you can send to your donors that is a customized stewardship message. Video messaging is all the rage these days, but you might be wondering how am I supposed to execute this? Well, I'm going to show you very quickly today. So what you can do to mock what I'm doing is go ahead and go into Zoom, go to meeting, whatever your video preference choice is. Start a new meeting with just you all by yourself. And as you get into the meeting, go ahead and hit the record button. From there, you're gonna record your video. I would probably say make it between 10 seconds and 30 seconds long. And you'll wanna go ahead and do something similar to this. Hi donor, it's Stephanie from XYZ Organization. I just wanted to take some time to personally thank you for your amazing generosity. You've made an impact on our mission. With the funds that you've given, we're going to go ahead and use them to support XYZ program. Our goal for this program is to help more people do X, Y, and Z. So you've been a part of that mission, and we couldn't be more grateful. We can't wait till we get outside these Zoom boxes and get to meet with you in person again. But in the meantime, just know we're thinking of you, we appreciate you, and we hope you have a great day, and we'll see you real soon. Thanks. Take care. You can also do it with your phone. It's really easy to just record a quick video and download it to your computer or sync it um, if you have an Apple product. One thing I will say is if you use your phone, please prop it up on something or use a tripod. Nobody likes to watch a wiggly video the whole time. Um, it's distracting. But outside of that, you do not have to be a video professional or a pro to do some really fun, great videos to help out um, with recognizing your donors. And they're gonna love to see your face and engage with you other than an email. As soon as you're done with your video, go ahead and hit stop recording and download it to your computer. Once you've waited for that video to download, you can upload it to something that you're going to use to share with your donors. You have a number of different options here. You can upload this into your email system or you can upload it into YouTube. I would recommend doing it into your email system if it's capable, but if it's not, YouTube's a really easy way. So once you download your video to your computer, you wanna go ahead and upload it to YouTube. It's pretty easy to do. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and show you how I do this. So if you don't have a YouTube channel already, it's really easy to sign up. Go ahead and just go to YouTube and you will need a Gmail account in order to sign up and use it. Um, but go ahead and create yourself a new channel. And once you have a new channel, this is where you can upload as many videos as you want. I went ahead and logged into my channel through my Gmail account. This is the home page. Once I'm here, I can go ahead and hit manage videos. And then up here in the top corner, it says create. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the create link and then upload videos. Here I'm gonna select the file that I wish to upload. This is the one that you just saved as you just created your video. As it's uploading the video, you can go ahead and give it a title. Thank you to ABC donor. You can give it a description if you choose or ignore that. And you can also upload a thumbnail. This is absolutely not required. It's an extra step. If you do decide to upload a thumbnail, what I would recommend is going to Canva. In Canva, it's where you can create great graphics if you've never used it before. Um, in here, if you go to create a design at the top, you can type in YouTube. It'll pull up the thumbnail as an option. And this is gonna be the perfect size that you need. Create the graphic any way you want and save it to your computer. The one way that I would recommend, a couple ways that you can use your thumbnail is for a call to action at the end of your video. The call to action can be go to your organization's website to learn more. Follow us on social media. These are our social media handles. Save the date for our next fundraising activity or come to our next virtual event. You can use this thumbnail any way you want and for any purpose, um, but it's not a necessary piece. So don't let it stand in your way if this is something that is not on your to-do list today. If you do create it, go ahead and hit upload. 
You wanna select no, that this is not made for children. Um, they do have some YouTube programming that's directly for kids. That's not what this is. Um, you'll hit next once a video uploads and go through the different elements here that it walks you through. One of the most important pieces I wanna point out is that you'll hit private under the visibility tab. What this means is as people Google your organization or the donor name, they're not going to be able to find this video. It is gonna be private and the only people who can see it are the people who have the link. You can go ahead and copy the link by clicking on this button. You'll hit save. And then it's gonna go ahead and create the video here in your list. You can then take that link and email your donor. Say, hey, I made a great video, just wanted to say hello, check it out by clicking on the link here. It's a great opportunity to send a easy, quick message to a handful of donors. And don't forget, you can also use this feature. Let me stop my screen here. You can also use this feature by engaging your clients and the people you serve. They can create great videos for you. You can ask board members to create videos for you. You can ask different staff throughout your organization that are focused on programs. It doesn't have to fall 100% on the fundraising and development team. But if you make 10 videos for your top 10 donors that month and send them out, It'll probably take you an hour to get through that list. Don't forget to engage volunteers, interns, different people on your staff who maybe have a knack and a skill for downloading and doing some of the YouTube features or uploading it to your email database if that's a challenge. I'd also love to help you out with any needs that you have. Part of my service is tech tools. And so I'd be happy to work with you if you're not really sure or a little nervous about executing this process. Either way, go ahead and take a look at my website, guidingforceconsulting.com for more tech tips, my blog and my YouTube channel, which will bring you plenty of ideas and suggestions and walk you through how you can execute the latest technology for your organization. Happy fundraising.